Hello, 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 and welcome to episode uh, 639 of Prog Review. And today I'm talking about Unorthodox Behaviour by Brand X. Somebody out there mentioned do Brand X, but it wasn't this album. I think it was Moroccan Roll, and I thought, why would I want to do that when I can do the first one? <laughs> uh, um, Anyway, burbling on, uh, this is Brand X, originally released June 18th, 1976, uh, though it was recorded September to October 1975 at Trident Studios. Wikipedia is your friend. Makes it look like I know what I'm talking about. I don't. I've never even listened to this album, have I? That's what the people in the comments will tell me. Never listened to it. Um, it's, oh God, it's one of those, oh, it's fusion. It's a jazz fusion. Um... Yeah, it comes between. I mean, there's you know you got you got you got your soft machines, and you got your brand X's and your you know your national health and people like that. And there's kind of in that that kind of thing, you know, kind of a poor poor man's Mahavishnu orchestra. Is that, I don't know if that's cruel. I don't know, but yeah, there was this kind of um, flourish of of British jazz, jazz fusion, and I mean Bruford. And he, I think he played tambourine with Brand X for about 10 minutes, didn't he, at one point? Um, and I mean, he had his Bruford projects and albums out at the same time, so similar kind of vibe, similar, similar thing. Um, but yeah, of course, the big, big, the big draw, the big draw is that some bloke called Bill Collins is, is, is in this band, and um, yeah. But we also get some interesting um, stuff from John Goodsell, who plays the guitar. He again, if you like, if you like, um, can I compare it to Holdsworth? Am I being lazy? Yeah, maybe I'm being lazy. But he's the he's the Holdsworth of the group, uh, with uh, Robin Lumley doing the keyboard section, and the amazing Percy Jones on bass and. Yeah, Percy Jones is where it's at. He's an incredible bass player, and that's what that's what I like from the group is the the, the fretless basses and and whatnot of, of Percy Jones. Um, <clears throat> what do I think of this album? It's not my favourite Brand X album. That will always and forever be product because that's a bit more accessible. But um, yeah, I mean, I remember getting these on vinyl back it back in the day because you can pick these up for. I think I got for about three twenty-five each. That's what. That's how cheap it was. This and um, Moroccan roll and product got them all together. And um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not 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 a bad album. You got to love your fusion. You got to love your jazz. You know, you got you got to love the love your jazz uh, to like this. Um, again, I don't think it's accessible as product or as uh, or as fun as um, Moroccan Roll, so it can, I think it's a bit of a hard, a hard one to like to get into. I mean, if if you were coming to this this album or the band fresh, I wouldn't necessarily say start with Unorthodox Baby because it might scare you off because you go, oh, this isn't like Genesis, or you know, if you if you're doing it for the Phil Collins. Um, but if you have come in via like Bruford and uh, Soft Machine, um, I think you'll enjoy it. Though it doesn't have the same melodic core that um, Soft Machine would have had at the same at the similar period, you know that 75, um, 76, 77, 76, 77, 75. You know that mid 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 seventies period. He says being vague. Um, but yeah, again, all of these are instrumentals. I I don't even know even though I've, I know the album. And I've owned it since the late eighties. I couldn't. If you played me one of the tracks, I wouldn't know what it, what it was called. <laughs> I just put the record on, and I listened to it. You know. Anyway, yeah, this is the record, by the way. Let's 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 do let's put, let's buy some time. That's what it looks like. Oh look, there's a man. And this, I think this is, is it. Hypnosis did the did, did hypnosis do the sleeve? Uh, I don't know. I, I do have this is a this is an early early pressing I got off the I did have this and then I sold it I traded it I got one of these ones with the the, with the Mad Hatter thing um, because my one 
Oh, it's all falling on the floor. Um, amateur, amateur hour. Um, my one didn't have this, which is the inner bag um, thing. It's not an inner bag, it's a, it's a, mm, you can smell the damp. Whoever owned this stored it in the in the garage or the shed. Um, I still haven't got the smell of damp out of it. I've had it for a few years now. Um, I didn't didn't have that. So when I bought it, it was completely mysterious. All I had was like the song titles. Uh, you know, what you, see, what you see on the back. There was none of that. Oh no, there was none of that. Don't get any of that. Because they do that sometimes with records. When they repress them and reissue them, you don't get all the extra gubbins. And so you can be sometimes left a bit high and dry. That's the good thing about CDs and CD reissues is they do include, <clears throat> they do include, you know, all the personnel and the little liner notes. That's what I was looking for. Liner, it's the liner notes. <sighs> so I would have just listened to the record. Uh, I quite like the the second side. I mean, I like I like it. It's a good album to have on. I like I like listening to it with it on the, in the background when I'm reading or doing something else because um, it burbles along. But I think is it is it running on three? It's the one before Touchwood, which is the last the penultimate song. I really quite enjoy. It, though I've probably it's probably the wrong one. It could be unorthodox behaviour itself. Um, there's nothing about this record that I that offends me. It's it's an interesting record. Um, again, I think you've got to be an advanced user to get into it. If you know what I'm, if you if you know what I'm if you know what I'm getting at, um, but it's it's worth it's worth checking out because like I said there is this kind of like almost like a fad, a revival of like like well, rock, rockers getting fed up with doing rock and, and and going into the into into jazz fusion, cool man, um, so yeah, yeah, so yeah you should listen to it. But I wouldn't necessarily get, would buy it first. I'd, I'd come to it maybe second or third ish. Go for product first, or even more and roll. Rock and roll is a bit more, like I say, a bit more playful. Um, so yeah. So if you want to know what Phil Collins did, whilst also doing Genesis, you know, because he's incredibly busy. He's, you know, this is why this is why they wheel him on stage now because he's lived about seven lifetimes. Um, but yeah, in terms of a rating, I'm gonna. I'm going to give this a. I'm going to give this four born uglies out of five. That's four born uglies out of five. It was a track that they named after me. There you go. There you go. That's that's good, isn't it? Do you know there'll be people out that actually believe that, even though it's a joke. They'll they'll actually believe that. Oh, any interesting engagement, don't forget to thumbs up or down this video, it's all the same. Don't forget to leave a comment and tell me what your favourite uh, Brand X album is. Just feel, I just feel my life ebbing away from me. Um, and that's that really, there's not a lot else, I'm trying to eke it out. I'm trying, I'm trying to eke it out so I can get more adverts on. Sweet YouTube pennies. Anyway, I've been talking about Unorthodox Behaviour uh, by Brand X. They're still going. They do, they're, they're still doing like American stuff. Oh, look, you can see my light reflected in it. Very shiny, shiny. Um, you know, they're still going strong with a different configuration. I think um, I think uh, Goodsall and Lumley are still in it. I don't know. I'd have to... Let's, let's have a look. Let's see what Wikipedia says. Who's in it now? Oh, no. Goodsall and Percy Jones are still in it. There you go. Isn't that good? And they're, and they're still doing a thing. I think I think they've had um, DVDs and and stuff out, which is nice. But I'm going to review. Them. <laughs> and on that, there's only one more thing to say. And you know what that is? And that is and prog on, but in a jazz styley fusion.